What's up, Cancer? My name is Lisa. This is going to be a message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Twin Flames, Soulmates, Divine Love Connections. And as I was tapping into your energy, I got the sexiest song. <laughs> I started singing it. Um, it's, I feel a sin coming on. What is it? What does he say? What does she say? It's the Pistol Annie's. Give me tall, dark, and handsome, wrap it, or mix it up with something strong. I feel a sin. So maybe you guys are feeling a little frisky, or there's some sort of temptation, or you want to be tempting someone else. I don't know. Let's see. All right, I'm going to do Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Connecting Energy in Between. So give me one card for the Divine Feminine, please. Ooh, the Ace of Cups. Okay, so maybe... You are feeling frisky, all right? But this is all about um, self-love. This is you wanting to offer your love. Yeah, Nine of Wands. See, I told you, frisky. There's like some sort of um, temptation here, seduction. Yeah, here you are, here. King of Cups. Ah. Okay, and then this is the Three of Cups. So maybe you're reuniting with someone, wanting to go have some fun with someone. <laughs> All right, let's see. Or this is the love offer coming into you. Let's see. Give me one card for the Divine Masculine, please. Yeah, Queen of Wands, I'm telling you. I feel a sin coming on. <laughs> All right, so this these two are looking at each other here. All right, look at them. Okay, you could be um, connecting with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Not necessarily. I'm not like all like that. Like, I feel like you should just watch whatever um, zodiac sign that you're attracted to. Like, I don't really, because you can like be in whatever sign whenever, you know, so... That's just me. I feel like when the zodiac signs come out in a reading, it has more to do with astrology, but that's just my personal take on it. All right, so there's like some sort of seduction here. I feel like you want to seduce this, this king of cups here is whether this is the divine feminine over here or the divine masculine, because, you know, when you're in these, uh, first of all, it's, Oh my God, I feel so uh, giddy and silly. Okay, so I feel like somebody definitely wants to seduce somebody here, okay? And these two are looking at each other, and there's this Ace of Cups in between. Holy shit, look at this. The hair font. That's the, that's the card of commitment, marriage. All right. Give me tall, dark, and handsome. Mix it up with something strong. I feel, ooh, but there's been some sort of ending here. Ten of Cups. There's been some sort of betrayal within this connection. Even though you both see each other as your happily ever after. The heck? Or there's like some sort of cycle ending within this connection. That's, that's it. All right. Give me one card for... Like within the connection. I feel like it could have been a cycle that's been repeated for the last 10 years over and over and over and over again, but it's closing out. Somebody, like, somebody here didn't even get a chance to fight back. Like, the, the betrayal that happened here, um... Like, I mean, look at this guy. He's like stabbed in the back 10 times. Like this person still wanted to, you know, didn't even have a chance to fight back. It's like they have the rock in their hand, but it's like they didn't even get a chance to stand up and throw it because while they were down, somebody came and freaking stabbed him in the back 10 times. So I don't know if somebody took advantage of somebody here or what. Look, there's your sign. There's your card, Cancer, the chariot. All right, but that's all about moving forward. So I feel like 
this is something that um, is very capable of being able to be like move past this situation. All right, let's see. Give me one card for the connection currently. Yeah. Confusion. All right. You're both kind of daydreaming about it. I feel like you both have options. Yeah, three of wands. You could possibly be both waiting for the other one to make a move. Or uh, make a move. That's a... Da -da 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 -da. That's an Ariana Grande song, but I can't... Into you. I think that's what it is. All right, give me one card for the Divine Feminine here. Yeah, see, codependency. There's something going on over here within this. Maybe this Divine Feminine totally betrayed this person over here, okay? Whether this is the Divine Feminine or the Divine Masculine, it, it, I, I, don't, I don't know, because it can go either way here. But um, just for the sake of not confusing myself, uh, this could be what's ending. This Divine Feminine is ending the cycle of codependency that she's had with her, her divine masculine. Give me one more card for this divine feminine. Yeah, for, see? That's why it's temptation. See, because the queen of wands can kind of be a seductress, right? Not kind of, depending on what kind of en energy she's in. But here, this is the reconciliation. So maybe whatever you're about to enter into... It's, it needs to be, it's like you need to make sure that you're seeing it for really what it is. Like ask a lot of questions, okay? Make sure there's no confusion about what exactly is being discussed and offered here. Yeah. All right, give me one card for the Divine Masculine. Yeah, see? Something went down here. This Divine Feminine... Something happened here, all right? This Divine Feminine may have some sort of um, drug addiction or something, alcohol addiction. She's trying to get her shit together here, but there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of things happening. I just feel like there's some secrets going on between this connection here right now. And this, whoever's showing up in this Queen of Wands energy is like very much aware of it, okay? So it's, yeah, they're saying um, somebody may be tempted to have this happen too soon. All right. I feel like you will know what that means, whoever this reading is for. All right. Give me one card for the connection currently, please. Yeah. Okay. And then this says new love. So they just drew my attention to the fact here that this guy is about to take off his mask. Okay. Okay. Because, like I said, I feel like there's been a lot of uh, lies, manipulation. There's just been a lot of stuff that's gone down here, okay? This could definitely be a connection from your past, okay? Which makes sense because there's like all this uh, retrograde there's going on right now, okay? Ooh. Okay, but here, here's my card. Like when sometimes I see this, uh, this person could show up at your house. Okay, that's also what I get when I look at this card because she's standing here in her bare feet. So this could be somebody. It's like a rekindling of your connection. Like maybe you guys have been like on the rocks for a little while, feeling distant within your own home. But this person is coming back to reconcile. But it, they're still saying proceed with caution. Okay, it's like go slow. Like don't give all the goodies up. Like up front, okay? Like, make sure this person is really changed. All right? And there is a possibility of new love here. But there's also, you know, I did get this energy of having a lot of options here, okay? But somebody is like, maybe one of you or both of you always had other options. And now the mask is coming off. You guys are going to talk about real, yeah, I just started hearing real love, uh, Mary, J. Mary J. Blige. All right, so that's cool. That's that's good. Um, but they're saying there's been a lot of trickery within this connection. So it's like, proceed with caution. All right, give me advice here for this connection. All 
Yeah, ask with sincerity. That's that's for whoever is coming in with the apology. Yeah, this person is is saying like they're willing to make the necessary sacrifices. Like they're saying like whatever it takes to make this person know that they love them. Like they're willing to do it. Whoa. Do what you love and go for your dreams. I'm going to get one more. Strengthen your gifts and nurture yourself. Okay, so I feel like in order to hold this, like, it's not like hold it up, but it's like to ensure that you proceed with caution. It's like continue to focus on what you love and doing what's best for you and just seriously allow whoever this person is that's coming to reconcile and offer love to you. I don't want to say make them prove it, but it's like make sure their words match their feet. Yeah, so basically prove it. But all right, let's get some of these. Um, what are these? Mystic bees, official, unofficial. These cards are freaking awesome. All right. Sex addiction. Told you. This person over here, look, they, they didn't know it before, okay, because they were out like freaking banging everybody. But now they know that you are their person, okay? This person is working on it. This is why they're saying per <laughs> proceed with caution, okay? Like, make sure that this person is taking all the necessary action to, um, to really change and show up correct, all right? Um, yeah, see? What the hell? Like... I feel like you might be like really surprised that this person is showing up, but I don't know. Let's see. What else? Or saying what they're saying. Get your shit and get out. Yeah, holy shit. Like, I feel like <laughs> this got really ugly at one point. I know I owe you an apology. Yeah, this got nasty. Told you. It's like person was down for the count not even like like was struggling and then somebody came in and fucking stabbed him in the back 10 times but this is a fighter because like this person still reached for a rock you know they were still like i'm gonna kill you you know well not not literally but it's a fighter whoever it is okay and this person like they became the queen of wands in your absence okay the queen of wands doesn't have to um she does not chase. She knows what she wants will come to her. All right. This person's got a lot to prove. Whoever this is. I'm not saying it can't happen. I mean, the new love came, came out. All right. All right. What else? I need to tell you how I truly feel. Yeah. I feel like this person like never told you how they felt because they were all wrapped up in what they could get. Okay, but this person is a king of cups, so that means, like, this person probably has, like, their own home, or, you know, they, they make good money, whatever. It's a king, okay? He's showing up as a king. But this is also somebody that doesn't really talk about their emotions, okay? They're about to. All right, they just have to get two more of these cards, so give me two more. You've healed enough, now unblock me. Yeah. This person knows they hurt you. You probably said, get your shit and get out or whatever. You just like cut them off, like done. This person wants you to unblock them so that they can come like say sorry I know who you are to me wow I don't think this person ever treated you like that before though that's the issue I never want to lose you again dang all right well take care of yourself okay first and let this person match their action to whatever it is they're going to say to you because they're going to come in laying it on thick 
and they are going to mean it, okay? But, but, <laughs> uh, listen to your heart, but take your brain with you. Is that, that's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm feeling. You might even want to tell this person to like, get your shit and like, like this, get your shit and get out. Like you might not even want to hear it, but I do feel like I'm being guided to tell you to listen. Okay. Because there is a deep connection here. All right. Obviously, otherwise it wouldn't have come out. All right. But is it a lesson or, you know, what's that? How's that thing go? People come in your life for a season or reason or a lesson. And you know what? I just, right before I did your reading, can Cancer, I read this thing. And I'm going to read you what it says. It says, it's from, um, well, it says, everything you love will probably be lost, but in the end, love will return in another way. So this person is probably not someone that you're expecting to hear from. And Franz Kafka, that's who said that. Kaf, Kaf, yeah, Kafka. Yeah. You're not expecting to hear from this person but they're coming back to apologize because they know who you are to them now and they're ready to, to put this behavior behind them. Okay. They're freeing themselves from this. I, I feel like they've like, once they woke up to who you are to them and felt the loss because they did, they felt the loss of you. Okay. And they started working on themselves and all their issues. Yeah. They're coming back. Here's your advice person coming back. Ask with sincerity because you really did a number on this person. But just remember, whoever is showing up as the Queen of Wands, like whatever this person did helped you like move into this energy. Okay, which is amazing. So there you go, guys. I love you. I'll see you. Um, I'll see you soon. If you're interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. Bye.